Hello, my beautiful friends. My name is Gabe Elgera from drumbeatsonline.com. And today, I'm gonna be sharing with you some ways to be successful on tour. Now, when I use the word successful, what I'm talking about is making sure that you have the best experience on tour, that you're giving others the best experience on tour, and that you are able to play and perform your absolute best. I'm not referring to success in any type of monetary way. And a quick disclaimer is I totally understand that touring looks different for so many people, depending on where you're actually touring, what instrument you play, how you're touring, whether that's in a van, a bus, or a car or anything, there are so many different ways for us to tour, but my hope and my intention for this video is that these tips will help you universally, no matter how you're touring, because there's so many different ways to tour, or even if you haven't toured, hopefully this will give you a peek behind the curtain to give you a better understanding of what touring looks like and how you can apply some of these tips for when you eventually get to that stage. So with all that being said, tip number one is to keep your things clean and now I'm gonna take you to the tour bus to explain why. Now, the reality is when you are touring in any capacity, you're always going to be in a somewhat small space, whether that's a bus or a van or a car or anything. And there's gonna be a lot of people living in that space. So you're gonna to wanna to try to keep your things out of the way as much as possible. So for someone like me, I have this little drawer where I keep all of my stuff. This is literally all of my clothes that I go through every day. I just keep it in this little drawer. And then if we go in here, I have one little cubby where I have like food and snacks and stuff like that. So then what do I do with some of my extra stuff? Well, if I go into my bunk here, I keep like some pajamas, extra clothes. This is actually generally where I keep my camera as well and then in there I've got like my wallet and stuff but yeah I just keep it in my bunk for the most part I try to keep it super minimal keep everything out of everyone's way because there's just a lot of people doing a lot of things so try to keep your things minimal organized and clean now tip number two is to always be on time when you're on the road there is like always something to do whether that's sound check or be there for obviously the performance but even if you're you know going to different rehearsals and stuff, it is so important to be on time and to be someone that people can count on and rely on. Otherwise, you might get asked to leave if you're constantly late. It's not a good look, so always be on time. Tip number three is to always stay positive. When you are surrounded by a ton of people all the time, you wanna make sure that you are adding light and positivity to the overall group dynamic. Because believe it or not, a lot of the times on the road, there are a lot of people that complain or there are, you know, things that just go wrong. Sorry, I'm uh, grabbing a protein bar right now. I dropped it, sick. But you know, after a while, you miss home. It's hard not to complain about that or if you have a really bad show, you don't wanna be adding negativity to that. So it's just always important to have perspective. You're on the road, you get to do what you love. Of course there are trade-offs and of course, there are things that go wrong. Things break down, you lose things, things get stolen, but always try to stay positive. Number four is to have a routine and stay productive when you are on the road. This helps your life have a little bit more of a flow, especially because you are in a new city every single day. So for me, I'm always gonna wake up, do my morning routine, brush my teeth. I try to go to the closest gym around and then I try to get work done. I'm generally making new content for my members or editing videos for YouTube all day up until it's time to play a show and then I do it all over again. And having a routine and having a flow to your day is just really helpful for, honestly, for your mental stability and sanity while you are away from all your loved ones for such long periods of time. Number five is to connect with others. When you're on the road, you are with a lot of other people, whether it's people in your band or people from other bands. So it is important to get to know the people around you. One, because that just helps the whole tour feel like more of a family vibe, which is important. But two, it's just awesome to build more relationships. It's a really cool opportunity to build relationships with other people who are doing something unique, which is just cool. A struggle in this area can be if you are 
really getting into your routine and staying really productive. Sometimes you don't get to hang out with people as much as you want to. This is a struggle that I have because a lot of times when people are hanging out and doing stuff, I might have to get some work done. So it is really important to just try to have that balance to stay in that routine, but also connect with the people around you. For tip number six, I am bringing you back into the studio, honestly, just because I don't like what I filmed on the road. It's hard to film there, I don't know. So when you're on tour, it is really important to, um, what is it important to do? It is really important to condition your limbs for endurance. And the reason for this is because every single night, you are gonna be playing for long periods of time. But not only that, most likely you're going to be playing your drums harder and with more energy than you do at band practice or in your room where your drum set's at. Now, especially in the earlier days, I noticed my wrists and my forearms getting really tired probably halfway through the set, which would lead me to play with bad form and bad technique for the rest of the set. So there are a couple different ways that I train my limbs for endurance on the road. And one of those is by using a device called the NSD spinner. This is something that I don't currently have with me. I could go get it. I'll go get it. All right, hold on. Oh yeah, I got it. So the NSD spinner is something that I don't need to talk about too much because I've talked about it in other videos. So basically long story short, it works on a gyroscope you wind it and then you basically spin your hand in a circle and it applies counter pressure for you to really work those limbs out. So like I said, it's not super essential, but it is a pretty cheap way to be able to work up those muscles. Another way to work up that endurance is to just get a regular practice pad or one of those endurance practice pads and just bust out some singles or doubles at faster BPMs for long periods of time to just really train those muscles. Tip number seven is to always stretch and warm up your body before a set. This is super important because you are using your entire body. So you wanna be as loose and as nimble as possible. So right here, you can see my whole stretching routine. Basically, I tried to stretch my entire upper body, my arms, my wrists, my neck, my shoulders, everything. Then I move on to my lower body where I stretch each individual leg, my hamstrings, my quads, everything to just get as loose as possible. Next up is pre-show confidence. You don't wanna go out on stage thinking, oh, I hope I don't mess up, or do I think I have this? Hopefully at this point you've worked really hard to nail your parts, so you're definitely going to do a great job. So be confident in your skills and your preparation and your ability to totally kill it. Of course, it's natural to be nervous and to have some adrenaline going and that is totally okay but just be confident in yourself and your abilities and you're gonna do a great job. Now, it is time for you to go out on stage and play a show. So tip nine is to have really good stage presence. I'm sure we've all seen drummers on stage that look so bored. They just sit in the background and they don't do anything. But it is very important to play the parts right and enhance the band in that way. But what we also wanna do is elevate the overall presence and energy of the show. So always remember to move around and give it your all. But the thing that is the absolute most important is to have fun. You've been working and practicing on this one thing. So when it is time for you to go play, remember you're playing drums. This is really fun. Don't worry about the mistakes. Just have a good time. Playing music with friends is so awesome. So just remember to have fun. Now that the show is over, the last and final tip is to have more positivity. I know sometimes it's easy to walk off stage and talk about all the things that you could have done better or talk about all the mistakes you made or talk about what you didn't like in the audience or anything. There are so many different ways that you could focus on the negative, but what you wanna do is to focus on the positive. Whether it was a good show or a bad show, I'm sure there are positive things that you can pull out from the experience. And remember, you're with a group of people, so you always wanna be a source of positivity. Otherwise, it can be easy to be bogged down with all the negative things that can crowd around your mind. So those are my 10 tips to be successful on tour. Which one of them was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching this lesson. Please stay true, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye, everyone.